former senior counsel to former President Trump, Kellyanne Conway, along with former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee. It's so great to have you both on at this hour. It's good to see you. Well, thank you, Liz. Great to be here. Thank you, Elizabeth. Sure. Kellyanne, let's start with you. We're supposed to be happy the president's own lawyers who get paid to protect him were given months to scrub through everything before the FBI showed up. I mean, the White House repeatedly said the search was completed, that there was the president said there was no there there. The thing is, our men and women fought for those secrets to keep America safe, Kellyanne. That's right. And let's not lose sight of that. Also, we have men and women who put their lives on the line every day in the Secret Service and other law enforcement protecting the president who also have a system in place, Elizabeth, as you and the governor know, called WAVES. I mean, we know who's coming and going to see a president at all times. It helps you catch people who really shouldn't be in, in with a president. We don't have any kind of visitor log like that whatsoever out of his house in Wilmington where these documents were kept, where Hunter Biden claimed as a residence. He had a driver's license there, voted from that same residence, particularly at a time when he was troubled. I think everybody should be very disturbed by a couple of the facts. One, these papers were from his from his time in the Senate, if not his vice presidency, he left the Senate in 2008 when they won the presidency or early 09. It's 2023, everybody. So these documents have been moved a few times. Secondly, I think, and most importantly, he has no defensive declassification, even if he were trying to make it. And I think the public is very upset on this one because they, they think that Joe Biden gets the gracious grandfatherly yeah. exception, whereas they have not been held accountable or been transparent throughout this whole episode and every time they say it's just a few documents we we, we think the mm -hmm. search is complete but here there are a few they are admitting culpability so i think this will go long and it's definitely hurting him politically also because they're just not telling the truth well the fbi to the kellyanne's point the fbi being involved as andrew mccarthy said it's about probable cause and governor the new twist is that the white house is growing more rattled we're hearing sources telling us that and that the new york times too is joining the washington post reporting that they decided to keep this secret before the midterms to avoid the president getting his own special counsel criminal probe that's top advisor Anita Dunn and others on his team. Washington Post already said they worked with the DOJ on this before the midterms. Governor, what do you think of this? Well, I think it's pretty evident that there was a different way of uh, dealing with the, Joe Biden than there was with Donald Trump. Joe Biden's had a heck of a garage sale going on. All that stuff next to his Corvette. Who knows who's been in there and looked around and taken things? We have no idea. And what Kellyanne just pointed out is very significant. Some of these documents go back to his time in the Senate 14 years ago. What's significant is he had no business taking those documents. He didn't have the power to declassify. He didn't even have the power to take them away from the Senate skiff. So there's just a lot of questions. But to me, one of the most glaring, how come Donald Trump's lawyers and his representatives weren't allowed to be there when the FBI was going through Melania's closet and taking his passport and digging through locked closets? How come it was they broke the locks on things that supposedly were so, uh, so important that they got Donald Trump, you know, all worried because he mm -hmm. might let somebody get to those documents. They were under lock and key. It's Joe Biden's documents that weren't. That's yeah. Right. And so, who kept moving them? Those are lots of questions that we don't have answers for. Yes. Yeah, so to what the governor just said, you know, by the way, it's now up to 30 classified documents. Kellyanne, his Senate records are at the University of Delaware. The question is, should that be searched too? Plus, there's reports coming in on yet another location that Biden's team moved U.S. secrets in the summer of 2017 to a transition office in D.C.'s Chinatown because his offices for his think tank, the Penn Biden Center, were not ready. What do you think, Kellyanne? That's right. Elizabeth, I think we have to cast a wide net and keep searching. Uh, we know we can't trust them to do it. You can't put your own lawyers in charge of that. You pay their bills. Plus, they can always evoke, invoke attorney-client privilege. So that should be very disturbing to all of us. You need that independent agency to do it. President Trump acceded to it. They said put another lock, have a, a surveillance camera. Of course, he's being protected by Secret Service. And the other thing that I think should bother everybody since the Democrat activists in the White House and the party and the Democrat activists okay. in the mainstream media love to cover certain people's marriages, mm -hmm. Anita Dunn that you just mentioned, uh, recommending to the president, she's a senior counsel in the, in the White House, recommending the, that they that they keep this a secret until after the midterms. She's married to Bob Bauer, the president's attorney who you see quoted. And yes, I think that's very relevant. Okay. Uh, people should at least know that, different last names. But, but look, this whole point okay. about the FBI, this is important. We have all kinds of independent people who could be 
searching and looking. I don't think we've even scratched the surface here. The skin is still on the onion when it comes it. to the document let's, scandal. Let's move to this. Majority of Americans, more than 7 out of 10, say this is serious. But the president still maintains that this growing number of multiple locations, Governor, was inadvertent. Inadvertently mishandling documents is still mishandling them. He's, are we going to hear again he's, quote, surprised that the search is completed, that he takes it all seriously, leaving the nation's secrets in his garage, but he has no regrets? I mean, look at the polls. Democrats don't want him to run. Governor, let's get your reaction on how the media and Democrats are there turning on him. Watch this. Can you give us a sense of how many classified documents we are now talking about total across all three locations? Sure, it's a good question, and, and actually the answer to it is a little bit complicated because of this point that I'm making about the integrity of an ongoing Justice Department investigation. The search of a sitting president's home dramatically escalates the political fallout, if not the legal problems, after the White House consistently tried to downplay the significance all week. It's pretty obvious at this point that people in leadership roles in the party don't know what the next turn of the screw is uh, in this investigation, including people who I work in the White House. When I go into the skiff with the secured documents, they always ask, are you clean when you walk out? Yeah. They want to make sure you're not carrying anything out. You know, and it might be a mistake. You might just put it in your other papers, but sure. you double check right there. So that, uh, to be held accountable and responsible is what we all are. And to put those in un unsecured spaces is irresponsible. It is a real problem that uh, these documents are somewhere they shouldn't be. You know, Governor, this whole timeline fits with the timeline of the Biden family doing deals overseas with, you know, Hunter Biden. The Daily Mail reporting an email indicates on Hunter's laptop that Hunter Biden and his uncle Jim Biden talked about a multi-million dollar deal to sell, quote, 25 million tons of natural gas out of Louisiana to their business partners in China, that energy conglomerate CEFC. The Biden family made nearly $5 million on that, Governor. Your final word. Well, first of all, the word uh, inadvertent is a sentiment for careless, because this was careless. But it was also, I think, beyond careless. It was an intentional attempt to make sure that we never found out about those business dealings. Joe Biden has been lying about it. He said he didn't know anything about what Hunter was doing. He obviously knew enough. If I made a $5 million deposit in my bank account, I wouldn't say, I be dog. I think I'm kind of surprised. Five million dollars showed up. Wonder where that came from. So the more we learn, the worse this gets for Joe Biden. I don't think this is anywhere near the end of the line. Uh, there's a whole lot more to find out okay. for sure. Kellyanne Conway, Mike Huckabee, thank you so much for joining us in the new five o'clock hour. It's good to see you.